Hey everybody, back again with another tutorial. My name is Spencer Campbell, uh, former teacher, current administrator. Uh, this video is for educators and those around the world that are trying to figure out how to use Google Meet on the iPad. Uh, if you've seen the other tutorials, I did one for an Android phone and then obviously the desktop. Um, so uh, you'll go to the App Store here um, and, uh, whoops, I just clicked on my screen on my computer, right, okay. So on the iPad, you go to the App Store um, and I just updated, right? So you're going to search for uh, Meet. And if you type in Google Meet or Meet, it's fine either way. So it's going to be up in the top left-hand corner uh, right here. I've already downloaded that. So you're going to click on Open. And when you open it, um, this is the first time it's going to ask you for access to your microphone and your camera. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK. Um, and then you actually need to connect that to an account. And so when you first sign in, you're going to sign in with a, uh, a Gmail account uh, that is connected with the, with the Google Suite. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to do that right now. So I'm going to jump over to my desktop. Just leave that blank, blank for a minute. Sign in so you don't see my username and password. Um, and um, then as we bring it back up, there we go. So now I'm set up and you, you can see this is set up a lot like the Android device or um, maybe the iPhone uh, meet uh, a few more, you know, different settings as far as the screen is a little bit bigger. You have your date and time and different things like that up there. But um, so if you want to see your previous meetings, um, I'm going to create a meeting right here. Um, and it'll give you the same information that you've seen on previous. It's the 10 digit uh, alpha code, which is 3 4 3. Uh, then you'll have a dial number, right? A US number that you can dial. You'll have a pin code. You can actually click on share joining info. And then that can be sent in an airdrop, which is pretty fantastic. Mail, reminders, bloom. It'll give you all the options that you want to do here uh, to save to somebody else. Um, or to send to somebody else in that. So I'm not going to send it to somebody else at this point. But um, you can also add comments here, right? Very similar to the mobile version. Um, this is a chat uh, message. Um, so we'll click send there. And you'll see that the chat will show up there. If you click on the little info tab, it'll give you all of the information here um, to... Again, share the call-in link, uh, the direct link, the meet.google.com forward slash, you know, the, the 10 digits. I can also share that again. You'll see it's the same thing that we do before. Over here where we have the people, you'll see everybody lined up uh, from top to bottom. And the way that the screen uh, works when you're doing this on a mobile or an iPad is the person that's talking, will the screen will then go to them. Um, so... What I'm actually going to do now, right, you can see that the closed captioning, very similar again to the mobile version. When I click on closed caption, it will pick up my voice. It'll start to translate that. And then the text will go right below that. It's great because um, the periods and commas and all that stuff, it's kind of, you know, the iPad version of or the Google version of voice to text. It's not pulling the iPad version, excuse me, uh, which is much better. I feel like uh, the voice to text is. Um, so we're going to turn that off now. Again, we just touch the screen. You can see, and then I'm going to do a closed caption here, right? Now, uh, again, if I'm here, I can pin myself. If I hover over and you'll see that, right? I'm just clicking on that. that means I'm pinning myself to the front screen. So then I would be the presenter if I'm the one hosting the meeting. And uh, if I want to do that, then it would pull up the auto. auto. So again, if I click up, up here anywhere in the gray box, it's going to pull up my options. I can mute myself. Um, you'll be able to hear my computer because I'm pulling audio from the computer, which is over there, but you wouldn't be able to hear me on the iPad. Um, so I'm going to unmute myself, but you could see right there that I am unmuted. Now I'm going to turn off the camera and you'll see that I disappear. You should still be able to, still be able to hear me. Um, but now if I turn that back on, you'll be able to see me up here. The broadcast button is a little bit different on the iPad than it was on the phone. We had some options to just go straight cellular. Um, but right now we don't have the option to go straight cellular. It's just going to pull audio from the iPad. Now when I click on that, we're going to go back here again. And we're going to click these three little tabs. 
and you're going to have a few more options right on the iPad than you did on your mobile phone. So you'll be able to present a screen, right? So if I wanted to, and I'll, and I'll show you in just a minute, so we can switch camera. So we can, instead of doing the rear facing camera, we can do the front facing camera. I'm in my unfinished basement. So you'll be able to see ping pong table, batting cage, and kind of our Lego setup here. Um, so again, we go to the three little dots on the top and we're gonna switch the camera back. Again, I have the options to turn on captions here and I'll just do that really quick. And I can turn them off here, turn off captions. Now, the cool part about the iPad version is that the, that the mobile version does not have, at least on the Android version of the phone, is to present a screen. So when I click here, it's gonna ask me to present a screen. Now, I don't have another app open, I don't think. Um, but when I click on report screen or present screen, um, I can uh, grab another screen and um, do that, right? So if I click on Meet, though, that's the only app that I have open right now. So let's see if I can go and just um, minimize this. And let's open uh, Stickman here. We're going to go back to Google Meet. And we'll see if it will allow me to pull up Stickman. It's not going to allow me to. So we're just going to go back here into Meet. We're going to cancel that out. Hopefully I don't want to start another broadcast. This would be uh, completely awkward if uh, it just froze when I'm in the middle of doing this. You can see all the apps that I have open. So there we go. So that was a major fail, which is good that I did it live on video. Um, and maybe I need to play around with it a little bit more to see if I can actually get that to screen record. But this essentially is Google Meet for the iPad. Um, what does it look like when we rotate? Um, it looks a lot better, right? If you're not locked in on your um, screen. And obviously my camera is in the location, right? That I'm looking at up here, um, cause it's on the front one. But the, the idea here is that you can use Google Meet on any devices. I switch it back not to give you vertigo or anything like that, um, that you can meet on any digital device. Again, that information, I can actually send this out to anybody through a text message. Um, through the um, airdrop, I could drop that to somebody, they could grab that link. Obviously I could do it through an email, uh, other options. You could post it right into a uh, classroom, your learning management software or something like that if you had uh, students or a group that you wanna do this. Again, you cannot record as far as I know from a phone or an iPad um, or an Apple device unless it's a desktop computer uh, to record those meetings to share out later. So if you're just joining a meeting, or you're sending a quick message out, um, those will not be recorded on the mobile devices. Uh, again, if you found value in this video, uh, I'd ask that you subscribe and like and share with those people that you know. Uh, if you're an educator and you're watching this, again, we appreciate everything you're doing at this time. Uh, we know how difficult it is to do things from home and not see your students um, and the energy that they bring, um, even, even when they're misbehaving and, and doing different things like that. Um, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.